Hi all, today we are going to discuss about roundness tester. Roundness is a geometric property that describes the degree to which an object or surface is circular in shape. In other words, an object is said to have high roundness if it closely approximates a perfect circle, while an object with low roundness may be more irregular in shape. Roundness is an important characteristic in many fields including manufacturing, engineering and quality control as it impacts the performance and function of parts and components. Roundness can be measured using specialized tools such as roundness tester which provide a quantitative assessment of an object's circularity. A roundness tester also known as roundness measuring instrument or a roundness gauge it is a specialized device used to measure the roundness of an object or surface. It works by rotating the object while a probe or sensor makes contact with the surface. Tracing the shape of the object and recording its variation in diameter and roundness. The resulting data is then analyzed to determine how closely the object matches a perfect circle or other desired shape. The roundness tester present in our metrology lab is Round test RA1600 and its make is Mitutoyo. Now let's see different parts of this roundness tester. First is base, joystick, column, carriage, arm, detector, rotating table and workpiece. To measure the roundness of a specimen, Using roundness measuring instrument, we have to follow 5 steps. First is preparation of the specimen. Second is setting up the instrument. Third is measuring the roundness. Fourth is analyzing the data. And fifth is reporting the results. Next I will explain each of these steps one by one. First is preparation of the specimen. Before beginning the measurement process, the specimen must be cleaned and placed securely on the instrument's rotating table. So here you can see this is the specimen, this one is the 3 jaw chuck and the specimen is securely mounted on the 3 jaw chuck. The specimen should be centered and leveled on the table to ensure the measurement probe is accurately tracing the surface of the specimen. This is setting up the instrument. The Mititoya RS1600 has several settings that need to be configured before the measurement process begins. These settings include the table speed, sampling size, then the calculation method or the evaluation method of roundness. The, there are different evaluation methods of roundness, for example, least square circle method, minimum zone circle method. Uh, maximum inscribed circle method and minimum circumscribed circle method then we can set the result screen so what are the results we want in our final result screen we can set here then last we can set the uh, filter we wanted to apply for uh, the roundness measurement in, uh, roundness measurement process so here I am applying the Gaussian filter Next step is measuring the roundness. For that we have to enter the coordinates uh, where we want to measure the roundness. So here we can set the coordinates. Once the instrument is set up, the measurement process can begin. The operator should initiate the measurement and the instrument will start rotating the specimen while the measurement probe traces its surface. The instrument software will collect the collect data on variations in diameter and roundness of the specimen. Next is analyzing the data. After the measurement process is complete, the data collected by the instrument needs to be analyzed to determine the roundness of the specimen. The Mititoyo R1600 has software that can perform this analysis automatically. The software will generate a report that includes the measurements such as the measurements such as uh, R O N T, 
R O N P R O N V then mean roundness then root mean square roundness etc the final step is to report the results of measurement process the report generated by the roundness measuring instrument software can be used to evaluate the quality of the specimen and to make any necessary adjustments to the manufacturing or machining process the results can also be used to compare different specimens or to establish a standard for roundness in a particular application next we will measure the roundness of a sample specimen the centering and leveling of the specimen is already performed and measurement settings are also applied so let's start the measurement Now you can see the table is rotating and the probe is tracing the cross section of the cylindrical specimen. Now the measurement is over. This is the final result screen.